guys remember meatloaf? Yeah. Um, just popped on my iPod. There's a, there's a very good chance I could use some sleep right now, but that's all right. Feeling pretty good. Um, I kind of closed my door. Yeah, sun's shining. It's like 70 degrees right now. So, uh, you know, not bragging, just saying. So here's what we got. Uh, where my paint's kind of screwed up here. This worked out all right. You see I got four bolts coming through the firewall now. And uh, the plan all along was any bolts that come through the firewall, uh, I was going to put um, acorn nuts on them. So I haven't decided if I'm going to get, let's say, like chrome acorn nuts or polished acorn nuts, or if I'm going to get some and just paint them black uh, to go along with the firewall. I haven't decided yet. So I got a couple that are going to come through here for my parking brake. I got the ones over there for my heater core, and then uh, there's a couple more assorted ones here. So here's what I got. Garage is still a disaster, but that's just because I've been working out here. That's going to be my fuse box mount. Um, I ran through all the different possibilities. This is the best one I could come up with. I had originally planned to put it over here, hanging from these bolts. The only problem is I could only support it by these two bolts unless I engineered some kind of fancy piece of metal that came from here to here. And with it on these, it would rattle. And, you know, that's never good. So up here, it's going to be nice and, it's nice and sturdy. Um, it goes through the, uh, the insulation, so that'll be good. It is on a piece of wood. Um, I, trying to remember where I, I saw this on YouTube before. But the nice thing about wood is, I'll sand it down nice, I'll put a nice chamfer on the top here. Uh, it will not arc because it's wood. We got uh, uh, like Chevaholic and I believe Mr. Heavy Chevy may have said it also. I can't remember for sure, but you can't weld wood. But uh, that's okay, we can drill a hole in it and cut it. So you still have these back here. And there's still there's a slight chance of those ever arcing, but may as well take the precaution, right? So the nice thing is, once I get this all on there, that, that'd be nice on my motorcycle tire, wouldn't it? Yeah. So this is gonna be nice and firm, secure. There's nothing, uh, it's not gonna go anywhere. These aren't even tight yet, because I couldn't, I don't have 12 foot arms, I couldn't reach around to the bolts at the same time as the nuts. So, oh, I might be able to go through here and do it. Anyway, or I'll just wait till one of my kids gets home, they'll take care of it. So all my wires will go up. I'll put a couple little uh, wire clamps here and go across. This is my constant box. My switched box will be over here. But uh, that's all I'm gonna show you for now because I'm gonna try and get back to work before I fall asleep. Um, I have no idea what time it is. Let me check. I know it's before four o'clock because my wife's not home with the kids yet. It is 3.30. So, I've been awake since 6 o'clock yesterday night, but uh, that's okay. I went and got my head, my head trim, <laughs> my hair and beard trim today, got a little haircut. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to keep plugging away because I do have that uh, July 4th and now maybe the weekend before. I don't know. It'd be like June 25th. My, uh, my brother and myself and my wife and my brother's wife, uh, We've been going to Santa Maria for the last couple years for Memorial Weekend for the uh, West Coast Custom Show. We're not going to make it this year. Uh, that weekend, just too much stuff is going on. My uh, my sister-in-law's sister is graduating from college. My nephew is graduating from preschool. And, and it's just way too much going on. So we're not going to make it this year. That's okay. Um we're just going to do a different trip, so it looks like a Reno trip for a couple days, maybe a little later on in the year for uh, one up there called the Rockabilly Riot, which is, a, which is a pretty good time. So we might be doing that instead, which is at the end of June instead of the end of May. So maybe this will get done to drive up there. I don't know. We'll see. I did order a radiator today. That's uh, coming. Should be here Wednesday, I believe it said. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to get back to work. I'll bring you guys back when I uh, got something going on. Well, it's Sunday. It's uh, 
flux capacitor day on the local radio station, 80s music. So we'll turn that down for now so I don't get busted. It is February 1st, can you believe that? 2.38 p.m. Um, little late start out in the garage today. Uh, went to, put that right there. Oh, that works out pretty good. Um, went to a motorcycle swap meet uh, with my old man and uh, ended up seeing my one of my buddy there that I worked with or still work with but uh, anyway so I got to BS with him for a little bit um, just it was cool it was a lot of old stuff uh, some junk some good stuff we weren't really there to uh, to spend any money we were more there just to go I like going to swap meets and so does he you know so we went there and wandered around and got uh, just looked at some different stuff um, I ended up selling my buddy had a he rented a space out there and had a bunch of crap out there so I threw my my seat that was on my motorcycle when I bought it that I didn't want and uh, the sucker didn't even last five minutes it was gone so that's good news that's an extra hundred bucks to throw into the uh, the uh, oh guns and roses there <laughs> anyway so uh, before that, I was able to, we do our, we try to do a union meeting once a month, meet for breakfast, uh, myself, my dad, my brother, and uh, my brother-in-law. I, I know I've spoke of this before, but uh, my dad and I were going to go to breakfast. Um, my brother works the same route that I do, the same nights. He works the weekend relief job, so he was a little late. Um, this morning, he called me. I was just waking up to get ready to go, and he says, hey, let's go to breakfast. And I told him, you know, my dad and I, and then my brother-in-law was up too, so... We were able to go out to breakfast this morning. That was cool. Always good for a few laughs. Um, we always go to a small local place somewhere. We got a bunch of them around here. So the one's right by my dad's house we went to. Had a good breakfast. Had a good time. And then uh, my dad and I cruised down to the swap meet. Uh, one thing about riding motorcycles with my dad. I mean, he's a maniac without a doubt. I can be too. But uh, he is the red light king. I don't care where you are. You're never going to get a speeding ticket in town with him because he can never... You can never go to stoplights without stopping at one of them. I don't know what it is, but it, it's all the way out and all the way back. I think we had two green lights all day long. It was kind of, it was, you know, all you can do is laugh. I mean, you can let it upset you, but it won't do you any good. But uh, anyway, back to the uh, lecture at hand here. Let me pick you guys up. Um, oh, need to paint that yellow. So at least it's bright when I trip over it. So we got, uh, yesterday I was out here for probably a good eight hours, maybe a little bit more, um, doing stuff, but my camera was dead. I plugged it in and then kind of forgot about it. I was kind of, you know, in the zone, if you will, but uh, got quite a bit done. Um, there's no light right here. I don't know where my flashlight is. But the generator is wired. Even if there was light, you wouldn't see. Well, you can kind of see the shadow of it. That's all you can see. The wire loom right there. That's wired. Uh, the wiring for my airbag stuff. It's all terminated back here. You can see one wire sticking out there. It's just not hooked up right now. But it's all, I've already cut the wires there. They got ends on them. They're ready to go. They come in right there so I just have to figure out where I'm gonna put my plug at I'm not gonna do that till I get the seat in the truck so those are ready to go my fuel tank is wired um, I just found the switch for my dome light so I can finish that wire I just gotta make sure the switch is still good um, here you can see some of the wires coming through where they're gonna go underneath my glove box those will be held down they're just there right now All the wires for my I kind of showed you guys this before but I cleaned it up some more got it in some uh, convoluted tubing it goes it'll be way too dark under there but it goes all inside the frame up to the front uh, the generator wires are hooked up those are done the ground the field and the armature uh, I had a hell of a time figuring out which one was the field and which one was the ground on the case and I knew that some of them the case was the actual ground so one of them had a uh, one of them had a uh, an insulated part on the post, and the other one didn't. So I was kind of thinking that's the way it went. And so on my 
probably 7,000 up and down underneath this thing what was on jack stands yesterday. I shined my light just right and it had an F and a G on it, but unless I was looking just right, I could not see them on the case after I painted them. So once I saw that, hook those bad boys up. That's done. I have, uh, I think I have some footage from the other day that I spoke of it, but I, I'm not going to worry about it right now because I can't remember what I videoed. Uh, July, no, June, June 25th. It's a week before my previous uh, deadline. My previous deadline was uh, July 4th. Uh, there's a car show uh, up in Reno. It's called the Rockabilly Riot. We've been to it before. Killer car show. Uh, they've expanded it quite a bit. Um, this week, or no, not this week. Uh, in less than two weeks, my next payday, I'm going to register the truck for that show. So once I register it, you know, my deadline is set. So June 25th is what we're looking at. I hope to drive it uh, by the middle of May. Actually have it on the road. Uh, so if there's any bugs that need to be worked out, I got a good month or so to work the bugs out. So that's the plan. I've talked to the uh, chief financial op officer of, uh, of the operation here, of the In Debt for Kids household, and she's all for it also. She wants me to get it done. So we're going to do it. Uh, selling that seat helped. So since I sold that seat, I found out that uh, I bought a rebuild kit for the, for the water pump, but they're just kind of too rusted out. I don't, I don't really like it. So um, Napa actually carries them. There's a Napa distribution center not too far from here. They have the water pumps. So since I sold that seat, I'm going to go snag myself a brand new water pump. Or, well, it's remanufactured, I have no doubt. But I'm going to go snag myself a water pump and my oil pump gaskets tomorrow. I ordered a radiator on Saturday. It should be here Wednesday or Thursday. Um, once those are in, I have to rebuild the carb, which, you know, that doesn't take long. I just got to take it apart and get it, uh, get it soaking somewhere. And uh, we got to do that. Um, the only thing left I can think of on the engine is the uh, fuel pump. I got a snag of fuel pump, but uh, other than that, with the wiring complete, um, throw some spark plugs and some oil in it, and I uh, should be able to fire the motor. That's the plan, anyway. So, anyway, I thought I'd give you guys a quick Sunday rundown of what I got what I got done. Um, I'm going to tie up a couple more. I, I found two wires just a minute ago that I hadn't addressed yet that I got to shorten, so I'm going to do that. Uh, the fuse boxes are in there. Uh, the wires are ran to them. I spent a lot of time laying on there. Oh, the other thing I did, um, excuse the big hand there. Oh, that looks gross. <laughs> um, was I put my window regulators and wind wing windows back in. I haven't bought windows yet. You know, obviously I don't need those yet. But I threw those back in yesterday because I was sick of them sitting on my workbench and all over the place. So we did that yesterday. There's the windows. They're pretty tore up. So uh, we'll replace those, and obviously I need to get a new back window. Um, but, you know, with all these stickers, this back window is a lot cooler than it was before anyway. So we'll get a new back window for it when the time comes. Uh, the other thing I'm going to pick up maybe this week is uh, the, uh, whatever it is, the seal for the windshield so we can put the windshield in and get it out of the upstairs bedroom. But, uh, yeah, here's where I mounted my, my fuse boxes. I hated putting holes in the firewall, but it just had to be done. It was the best way to do it. I, I ran through every possibility in the truck. And there's lots of cool places to hide the fuse boxes, but they would not have been accessible if need be. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things, if you have it accessible, you never have to get into the fuse box. If, if it's inaccessible, you'll have to get in the fuse box all the time. At least that's the way it works in my world. So, what can you do? But uh, all right, guys, take it easy. Be good. Um, hope if uh, hope if you are a football fan, the game goes your way today. If not, uh, if you're a let's say a Super Bowl fan, hopefully there's some tasty food and beverages wherever you're at. Um, I'm out in the garage. What can I do? I used to be a pretty pretty big football fan. Did the fantasy football and and all that kind of stuff, but. Uh, Fantasy football just took up too much of my time and there for a long time Sunday was my only day off and I wasn't going to spend 
all day Sunday sitting on the couch watching football. Uh, I just couldn't do it and so I've slowly slowly gotten out of it and uh, I honestly didn't watch a game all year and you know it's fine I won't uh, you know I won't talk crap about fans because I have no problem going to a car show and spending all day there but uh, anyway good day so far so we'll see you guys soon I'll get some more work done and I'll bring you guys back